Is that delicious bagel that you're eating right now causing your acne? Today, I'm sharing my very surprising advice when it comes to the link between gluten and acne, plus my favorite tool for getting really clear on your root triggers. I'm Jill Therese, and after 15 years of experiencing acne, I finally cleared my skin naturally, and I created my acne clearing program, The Clear Coat, to help you do the same. Six and a half years and thousands of clients later, I've made it my life's work to get you clear skin without crazy pills, creams, and or hormones, so make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video. Do you love a good baguette? Me too, honey. I freaking love bread. I don't eat it a lot, but what you want to know is, is it causing you to break out? What I'm about to tell you will hopefully be encouraging when it comes to the gluten and acne link, because the answer to the question of does gluten cause acne is it depends. Bread has a ton of ingredients, wheat has a ton of ingredients, but the main one that's gonna cause issue for you, issues for you is gluten. So what is gluten? I'm sure you know, but gluten is a protein found in wheat. And commercially, it's used to maintain the stickiness of bread's dough. Because of this, it can also be found in personal care products. It's usually, it can be used as a binding agent, like there's a lot. Some general sources of gluten are barley, wheat, sometimes malt, Brewer's yeast, common foods like pasta, cereal, noodles, they're all most likely going to have gluten in them. Some, even some lipsticks, communion wafers, like gluten's everywhere. Basically, the rule of thumb around whether or not something has gluten in it is if it's a bread product, unless it says gluten-free, I would assume that it has gluten in it. That makes sense. There are two main reasons gluten could be causing an issue for you from an acne perspective. And they are number one, that you either have an allergy to gluten, which is very significant, and I'm sure you're probably kind of already aware of it, and or you have a sensitivity to gluten, aka an impaired gut ecology, and the gluten is negatively impacting that situation. So notice I qualified that sentence. It's not cut and dry, when, especially when it comes to gluten sensitivities. So I'll explain a little bit more. First situation when you have a gluten allergy, for example, a gluten allergy is very specific and a true gluten allergy is far less common than you can imagine. And it's called celiac disease and it can lead to a lot of damage in the intestinal wall and it can really wreak havoc throughout your body. If you know anyone with true celiac disease, it can be really painful too. If you have celiacs, when you ingest gluten, your body launches a, an immune response which can lead to damage of the villi in your gut. Villi are small finger-like projections that line the intestine, promote nutrient absorption. When they get damaged, nutrients can't be absorbed properly into the body. So keeping these villi super healthy, intact, and really strong is incredibly important. This is a very specific situation, celiacs. It's a significant condition and you most likely, if you have celiacs, you know, because you need fast treatment. It can be really painful. It can cause complications down the line. And it's not that common, which is great. That being said, there's this theory called the gut skin axis, and I'll share my video on probiotics and acne above my head and below. But basically it states that what happens in your gut and what happens on your face is linked. And so you can kind of see then how if you're having damaged villi, damaged intestinal wall issues, that's gonna negatively impact your skin. The second reason that gluten could be impacting your acne is from a gut sensitivity issue, and it's more complex but easier managed if that makes sense so i personally eat pizza myself i haven't had a baby in a long freaking time but if i wanted to i wouldn't be scared to question for you have you taken antibiotics in the past year any type of antibiotics so for strep throat or even if you were prescribed antibiotics for your acne comment with yes below because that really impacts your journey and I'd love to support you. Here's why gluten could be causing acne for you in kind of an unexpected way. So remember how I just shared about the damaged intestinal villi. That can happen in any situation, even if you're not struggling with celiacs. Your gut is an ecosystem. I talk about this in every video, I feel. I literally use this statistic. We have like over three pounds of bacteria in our body at all the time, at all times, from here to here, and it's really important. And so many different things can man can damage the gut bacteria and the ecology of the ecosystem. For example, opportunistic bacteria can get into your body by way of 
anything you eat, really. And it can also damage the intestinal villi, the your intestines, your gut lining. When damage to the gut lining happens, digestion overall is impaired. So number one, you won't be able to digest food properly the way your you know, optimal levels kind of occur in your body. So you might be struggling with constipation or diarrhea. And then number two, also just as importantly, is you won't be able to absorb clear skin nutrients like zinc and vitamin A that really support lowering levels of inflammation throughout your body. Taking antibiotics, eating a diet high in processed foods can really feed opportunistic bacteria, which will result in a drop in beneficial bacteria and can lead to the problems we just talked about. So you're not able to absorb nutrients, you can't process your food the right way. It kind of all goes to HE doubles to hockey sticks in a handbasket. When you have low stomach acidity, for example, you're going to have impaired pancreatic enzyme production, which can limit your ability to process proteins. And ding, 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 gluten is a protein found in wheat. So all of these things kind of from a gut ecology perspective can make it harder, long story short, harder for your body to process gluten. The other way gluten can negatively impact your skin is from a blood sugar perspective, interestingly enough. So I talk about blood sugar all the time too. Check out a video above my head and a video below on insulin resistance. But basically, managed levels of blood sugar are really important for clear skin. Now that being said, let's take a, a white bread, for example. A simple white, I won't use a brand name, but like a simple white bread. That bread, that wheat, all of the items in that bread have been processed down so significantly that they have very low levels of vitamins, minerals, any type of fats or proteins. It's basically white bread is just like sugar in your hand. <laughs> it like it has very, very, very few nutrients, which when you eat white bread and it's just straight sugar, almost straight glucose, it spikes your blood sugar up, which releases insulin, which sets you on this course of insulin hormonal reactions that is no bueno for your acne. Now, take a different type of bread, for example. I like Ezekiel brands, I'm not an affiliate or anything, but those breads come with a lot of, first of all, it's very, very low processed wheat, and even when they're having, even when they're using gluten-free brands, it's very low processed. It often has a ton of seeds and nuts within the bread. So with that type of bread, that type of wheat that's not really processed, you have a ton of vitamins, minerals, proteins, fiber, which can also positively impact your blood glucose levels throughout the day. So if you're going to have bread, because you're like, Jill, I'll kill you if you take away my bread, check out a brand like Ezekiel and get like the sprouted seven grains. It's so weird to us to think of eating bread with seeds, but that's actually like the way it used to be. The bread that we eat now, like, an, I mean, I love a freaking English muffin, but it's just sugar. Also... When you take antibiotics for a specific length of time at all, you're going to be naturally susceptible to an overgrowth of candida, which is a type of yeast, which also feeds off of a high sugar, high carbohydrate, simple carbohydrate diet. So let's imagine you just took antibiotics for like two weeks or something, and then all you've eaten is bread, and you get a yeast infection, and your skin looks grumpy. This all relates. You've lowered the amount of beneficial bacteria in your body. You're eating sugar, which is feeding an opportunistic yeast. And your gut ecology, there's a lot of dysbiosis and grumpiness in your stomach, and it's all just showing up in your skin. So my general recommendations when it comes to a gluten acne link are, number one, if you suspect at all that you have celiacs, please immediately go talk to your doctor because that can be so painful, I know. And also, if it's treated, it can be really manageable. But again, it's very clear. So my guess is if you're watching this, you probably don't have celiacs, but I'm not a doctor, so check with your doctor. Number two, don't think about never eating gluten again. If you're having some issues, if you eat gluten, for example, and you get really bloated, honestly, my, <laughs> my gut feeling is not that you have a gluten issue. It's that you're having a gut issue. And once you start to heal your gut ecology, processing gluten will be easier. Does that sound like a good plan? I, I really like this action plan personally. And one of the ways you can do that is by starting to take a really quality probiotic, so 10 billion organisms or more with lactobacillus acidophilus in it. Drink like 
twice your or half your weight in ounces. So if you weigh 150 pounds, have 75 ounces of water a day. Explore foods that have live bacterial cultures in them. So things like sauerkraut, kimchi, yogurt, all of those things are going to lead to a healthier gut ecology ecosystem. And that'll allow you to enjoy, process, digest protein better. I hope that helps and gives you a lot of encouragement. It's so not like gluten causes acne, you can never eat bread again. Okay. So now that you have that exciting, hopeful advice about gluten and acne, would you like to get a little bit more clear on why you're breaking out in the first place? If so, make sure you take my acne personality quiz. It's a 30 second, 10 question quiz designed to help you heal your acne naturally from a root triggers perspective. You'll grab three action steps as well as three recipes you can try to heal your acne naturally based on your root trigger, which is so exciting. And also, if you want to join a private, safe, and empathetic community of people struggling with their acne is just like you, we have a private Facebook group where you can meet other people who are also experiencing acne and really want help with their skin. So find the link below for that as well. If you like this video, make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new one. We'd love to see you hear more. And if you know anyone that has questions about gluten and acne, send this over to them because I'd love to support them and help them too. Okay, talk to you soon.